That part I did hear. Yeah. Said that with uh that we get he says that Hebrew Israelites, everybody has are entitled to their beliefs. But it was the Hebrew Israelites that ran up into a bodega or something like that and killed two people in cold blooded because they weren't Hebrews. Well, contrary to popular beliefs, those people were not Israelites, and they know that. However, they're using that to put a, you know, put a put a blot on our name. You know, the uh, you know our leaders they have they have they have the evidence they need to prove that, but that'll come in due time. In the meantime, everybody's gonna eat that little bit of cake right there that they because because it's something that's being put out there by the oppressor, whom they agree with anyway, and they're gonna run with it. But I did hear him try to you know smear our name in the mud and use that as a catalyst to further their agenda against whom they call black Hebrew, black Hebrew Israelites. So I did hear that. But uh, may I speak for a second? Who's that, Ray? Yeah, we'll get to you, Ray. We'll get to you, Ray. How you doing tonight, bro? I'm all right, brother. All right, so doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. We got uh, what's the brother name? Just how you say your name, bro? I'm confused with that one. Just a thought. That's what that you is. Got it. You got it, my man. Okay, okay, okay. Got to get used to these abbreviations and and, and such. All right, so uh, yeah, we will start with you, Ray. For the time being, what, what what are your thoughts on the topic? Are the are the Hebrew Israelites twisting the gospel? What you got? The uh, Israelites are not twisting the gospel. They're just sharing forbidden knowledge. Um, that you know the 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 fake Jews, if you want to call them. I really don't care how people feel about that, but um, you know uh. I, I, I've been like following the the Hebrew Israelites United in Christ, and you know, not for nothing, that's a powerful movement they got going on. They um they're teaching with biblical facts of how we became enslaved again, because at, at once before we wasn't, and that's uh so-called African Americans, Puerto Ricans. And, you know, uh, everyone besides the white people, if you want to say. So what, what, what do you think, or why do you think the agenda to push uh, lies against the Hebrew Israelites is being escalated at the force that is being escalated right now? Why, why do you think that that's happening? Because it's just in the Bible. You know, when we didn't keep God's commandments, God told us we will be, you know, we were great at one point. So, and he said, if you don't keep my commandments, I'm going to send you back into slavery and bondage and spread you through the nations. So, you know, um, that's obviously what what happened. Um, we were, instead of keeping God's word and and um, following the right path and and... And basically keeping um, the commandments, we didn't do that. We started integrating with with the other people, more like how you could say, uh, let's say, uh, anyway, I come up with a term for that. But yeah, no, um, they definitely they they definitely teaching you forbidden knowledge. If you look at the biblical facts, for anyone that really reads the Bible, you could definitely see word by word. I mean, we are the ones. Okay. Okay. I can go with that. So I guess uh, just to hit back to the, the, the question and the topic, you know, the topic is, are, they, are the Hebrew Israelites twisting the gospel? Um, obviously, there is a there is an agenda being pushed that what we teach and uh, what we stand on is not biblical and that we're off. Like, we're off. So, like I like I just said, going back to the question, why do you think the agenda on the opposite side is being pushed so hard? Obviously, we know we went into captivity, we went into slavery because we broke God's commandments. All right, so all of these captivities that we've went through, we've suffered under the hands of our enemies. Now, in this captivity, the difference between this captivity. And the previous captivities that we were in is that we lost 
complete knowledge of who we are as a people. As a people, we knew who we were when we were in the other captivities. Our people knew who they were when they entered the uh, Americas and, and came off of the slave ships on the shores of America. They knew their nationality. Obviously, that was stripped from us. We were raped, robbed of our culture, our language, our God. Everything that made us a people was taken from us. So that's the difference between this captivity and the previous captivities. So my question is, which is I basically just answered it, why is it such an issue now when you get Ye saying what he's saying, Kyrie saying what he's saying, you know, all these celebrities coming out saying and realizing who they are as a people, yet we have the ADL, they turn around and say, well, you know, you know, everybody's entitled to their belief, you know, but, you know, when, it, when your belief makes you go and breaking or uh, going to a bodega and you, you shoot and kill two people in cold blooded simply because they're not a Jew, you know, that that's wrong. Why is it such a black eye now? I mean, one, I can't speak for everybody. Everybody has his own mind. So I, I, I can't tell you why that happened, but you got to think about it when, when you're being oppressed and you're being uh, like limited from, every source and um let's say uh basically when you're under the white man's control you can't even post obviously or say anything you want that goes against you know they they, they strip you from even your money that that's ain't it your money by contract why is it that that they if we break a contract with any with anything any anyone we write a contract with what comes with that lawsuits why is it that they could just take that from you and you just got to swallow it. That's not fair. That's not right. I don't think it's, 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 it's basically um, modern slavery. Okay. Okay. Judd, uh, King, y'all, y'all, y'all want to chime in? Anything on the brother said? Anything relating to the topic? What y'all got? I'll tell you reason why I'll, I'll answer your question but I'll, I'll also get back to the topic of the room but the reason why um, all these all, all these right. attacks are coming across why people are caught uh, uh, against the Hebrew Israelites is because we have war it's spiritual warfare okay okay all right did we pre yeah right. hey you're right you're right 100 percent right but before we before we let you dive deeper into uh, your thoughts on it we still got just a thought before you you know, we want to uh, kind of keep things in order. We got Baruch on for a reader or anything, but if a judge or a king want to chime in, I just want to check with the brothers and see if they had anything they wanted to add, anything they wanted to bring up pertaining to the topic. And if not, uh, Ray, we want you to stay on the stage, uh, continue to deal with you, and uh, we'll move forward. Hey, just a thought. What, what you got on the top? Yeah, man. How y'all doing today? Doing Tonight. Yeah. But look, um, before I get into the topic, uh, Earlier, you know, I just wanted to bring out a point. You know, you said that they're trying to blame stuff on the Hebrew Israelites, and I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. But you understand, this is the same thing that they have been doing to Christians, you know, as far as not knowing about Christianity and then labeling somebody who says they're Christian or looks Christian or talks Christian as Christian and then defaming the Christian name. It's the same thing that, uh, you know, actually the Hebrew Israelites, you know, do to Christians, you know. So it's it's kind of like, you know, fair that, you know, they'll be doing they're being done the same way. Um, but it's not right. It's not right. So but real, just just with what you just said. Um, so. Is it unfair to say that the Catholic Church has a problem with keeping their hands off of little boys? Hell no, it ain't no problem to say that. But, that, okay. but that's what I'm trying to say. Hold on, hold on, brother. Them, them okay, Christian, right, them right, Catholic right, people up, are not Christians. On. But that's the, they're not that's, Christians. That's that's the that's the they would claim they would say they were Christians, right? And and just like whoever um who was talking about before may claim to be um Hebrew Israelites. A claim is not a standard. That's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Okay. The the Catholic Church would be where well, I don't know. What what um are you a Christian? Yes, I'm a Christian, but I'd rather call myself a believer. 
because of the connotation behind okay. the word Christian. All right. So, okay, a believer. You go to church? No. Okay. You don't go to church. Will we, will, will we say that most people in America that will call themselves Christian go to church? No. Yeah. I say no. It, 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 I mean... You could you could do either one, brother. I mean, we can't, we can't have two people talking, right? You got to mute up. You know, you can you could you could do either one. You know, it's 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 the freedom in Christ. The Bible says, "Forsake not the gathering together of yourselves." Okay. But it never. Right. Okay, when, you, when you say a, a Christian, right? Uh, would would you say Baptist people <clears throat> who go to a Baptist church and call themselves Christian? Oh, I mean. You can label it however you I mean, want to label I mean, come, I mean, it. But what I'm saying I mean, is, listen, I don't listen, believe you. Listen to what you're saying, right? Okay. Now, we're talking about the label Christian, right? Now, now we can say, well, that's not the true Christians because I would go to the Bible and say that the disciples were called Christians. So if you're not a, if you're not a disciple, uh, an Israelite, then you can't be a, a true Christian. That's what I would say according to the scriptures, right? So... But when we use the term like black, right, we, we know when we use that term black, what we what we talking about, you know, I'm, I'm not black. You're not black when it comes to like color wise. But when we use that term, it's talking about me, you, wise, king, Baruch. W wouldn't you agree to that? Yeah, but you're taking me off where we were at. Though. Well, well, OK, OK. So, OK, you would agree with that. So when we, um, wise, you may need to mute because I think you coming in and out too. Okay. So, so when we say the term Christian, right, when we say the term Christian, would you say Baptist would be included in Christian? It can be a Christian, is not a term based off of your title. It's a, it's a term based off of your lifestyle and somebody outside of that can really not comment on that, just like uh, uh, somebody outside of a Hebrew Israelite community cannot comment on who an Israelite is or is not. So that's how I say it's the same both ways. Okay, so so you so that you would be saying that no one could be considered a Christian if they commit sin. No, I ain't saying nothing like that, man. Okay, so I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to say because a Baptist would consider himself Christian even though he may live a lifestyle that includes sin. So, yeah. So is a Baptist a Christian? It's a, uh, uh, yeah. Every, hold on, every, everybody that can, that calls itself Christian is not Christian. There's scripture for that. You know, he's going to tell a lot of people, I never knew you. Okay. You know, so my that's point, at the, my, that's at the uh, end, right? That's at, our ju at the judgment, right? Some people, that are going to say they're Christian and, they, and at the end, but will we say the labels that they give themselves and that is uh, culturally and, you know, not even culturally, but just acknowledged by most people, you would say that someone who considers themselves that goes to church every Sunday, uh, reads the Bible, tries to follow the commandments the best they can, uh, that believes in Christ, believe Christ died on the cross for them, you wouldn't consider them Christians? No, I never said all of that, man. I ain't never I said did. I'm not saying you said it. I'm trying to get a basis for it. So you, every time Let I me, say something, you're saying I'm accusing you. I'm not accusing you. I'm I never used that word. Let me explain I'm, to you I'm what trying, I say. What I say a Christian is. Real, no, real quick, real quick, because you, you said that everybody can't be a Christian. So I'm saying somebody... That goes to church on Sunday and that goes to the Baptist church, right? And they believe in Christ. They, they, they say that Christ died on the cross for them and gave them grace. Would you consider that person a Christian? Not just based off of that. So, no, that, that person is not a Christian. I mean, it, it, I wouldn't. I wouldn't label that person one way or the other just based off of that information. Okay, That's what, if they, what, what if they say they are Christian? Well, then I'm gonna take them. I'm gonna take them at their word. But I mean, I'm not gonna walk around. Okay, okay, talking. okay. Hey, well, that's good. So, hey, Ray, Ray, mute up, Ray. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, you know. Hey, one, who, who is no talking? Is Ray. That's Ray. Ray is unmuted, and that's his his uh, yeah, Ray, mic we, back. Look, Ray. We not. Um, I don't know if you're trying to talk or whatnot, but 
You know, we can't have four people talking at the same time. Okay, so, um, okay, so Catholics would consider themselves Christians. Just like they, Baptists would, Pentecostals do, Seventh-day Adventists. Uh, let me get my thought out, bro, because you're going down a road. I don't believe in denominations. Well, I I, that's what I'm saying. I didn't, I'm not saying you do. I'm saying with you, you, cause you, cause you're saying that people could be, um, wrongly labeled, uh, labeled, right? So ca Catholics consider themselves Christians. Do you agree? Some of them are, some of them not. It's not about a label. It's about your lifestyle, brother. That's why you ask well, me I these just, questions. I just asked you if someone says they're a Christian, you said yes. And now you're saying no. No, no, I did not say yes, man. You I said did, you no. did. I okay, said, if I if, yes, did. if I said if I said if I said yes plainly like that, just a simple yes, then that's not what I mean because it's not about a label, it's not about what you say, it's about how you live. I now I said would Catholics consider themselves Christians. And I said some of them might, some of them are. Okay, but I don't I know. Did, okay, I said consider themselves Christians. And some of okay, but that's okay. Yeah, they consider themselves Christians. Okay, okay. they they consider right. they consider. Okay. All right. Okay. That's all right. Good. Uh, we got a good basis right here. Right. So when we talk about the Christian Church, right? When we say the Christian Church, we will be talking about say the Catholic Church. Because that's what they consider themselves, Christians. But, but right. brother, but brother, but brother, oh it, it, just be, no, man, don't do me like that, man, because you're going down a road which uh, I want to clearly state that just because if someone, someone considers themselves a Christian, that doesn't make them a Christian. So now you want to go off the basis that since Catholics want to consider themselves Christians, we're going to pretend like they are. I can't go down that road because well, when, we, when we talk about Christians, that's who we're talking about. We're talking no, about that's who the, we're talking, talking about. about. We're talking about who the world acknowledges as Christians. That's what we're talking about. Now, if you want like, me to say, okay, how about this? I'll say this. We're not talking about Christians. We're talking about people that go to the Catholic Church. How about that? All right, I, I, I'll, I'll entertain all right. that. because because a pastor of a church. If we say a Christian pastor then we know we're talking about the pastor of the church. But if you don't want me to say the word Christian, I won't say the word Bro, Christian. The I don't even call all pastors Christians. The pastor of the church, right? So when we that's what we're talking about. Like, you want us to say we're saying a label, but people that go to no. church on Sundays, how about that? Can I say but that's that? still... That's, no, because that's still based off of a label that you're giving the person. What I'm telling you that's is based they off of their life. Sales. I, but I, they I'm lying not, to themselves, bro. I'm not giving them that label. So they lie somebody, to themselves. That's, okay, so somebody that's a Catholic. So you agree that the Catholic Church have a problem with molestation? Some of them do. Okay. So, okay. So when we when we when we label or somebody says that the Catholic Church, these priests and stuff like that, uh, they have an issue with touching their kids, touching kids and stuff like that. That's not a, a label. That's not true. It's not true for everybody. It's, See, okay, you doing the same thing listen, they doing listen, to you. Listen, listen, right? When the Pope says that they have an issue, now this is the head of the Catholic Church, and he, he, apolo and he apologized for it. So right? what? This is this is the head of the Catholic Church. So he, what? Are you gonna let me finish talking or what? Like, what are you? Go ahead. What, what are Go you ahead. doing? Like how old are you? You seem that, like you older than me. Okay. Like you. I'm not fight. combative, man. You but you, go, you are, I'm not. You are. You want to argue, bro? You, go you ahead, wanna, man. Go ahead. You want to argue? <laughs> 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 the, head, the head of the Catholic Church apologized for what they were doing. They were. They knew as as the church that meant that they had men that were touching little boys, and instead of them calling the police. They shuffled them back into the system, sent them somewhere else, sent them to another church. They did. This was an institutional thing. So some people, matter of fact, give me that in Romans chapter um, one and verse. Hold on, let me get it. Romans one and verse. What I want, what I want. Start at verse. 
28. The book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 28. And start even verse, as, start verse 26. Verse 26. 20, yeah, 26, yes. 26. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. Even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Read. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves the recompense of, the, of their error which was meet. So we know the Catholic Church, this was a big scandal that's going on in the Catholic Church, not just the Catholic Church, but in the Baptist Church too. The Southern Baptist Church, they had a lot of articles come out this year and last year about child molestation, the pastors and priests with uh, molesting boys in the church. So we know that, and, and, you know, even like, you know, you deal with some of the uh, black mega churches. What's that guy that died um, recently? What was his name? A couple years ago. <sighs> he had a church That's in Atlanta. Cool. Eddie Long. Eddie Long. Eddie Long, right? So we know we had, this, you know, Christian churches or churches that would consider themselves Christian have this issue, right? And so the scripture goes into this, talks about it, right? How this is a vile affection, right? Reverse, uh, let's see. Now, we understand that when these guys get outed, they're not outed by the church, you know, they're outed by the victims, even though the victims will all say that the church knew about it. They told people in the church, the church hid it. The church knew that this priest was molesting kids and they, instead of them turning them in, they hid them here, hit them there, hit them, whatever. The leaders of the church are the representatives of the church. You know, just like the, um, if the guy, the guy from, um, what was that piece of place? Papa John's, he made some statements, right? Everybody that worked for Papa John's don't feel like him, but he the head of Papa John's. So guess what? He 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 is a representative of Papa John's when he said what he said. Um, and that's just the way it is. If 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 Joe Biden, if Joe Biden says something, he represents America right now. You may not feel like Joe Biden, but he the president. He represents America. So the leaders of the Catholic Church, the Southern Baptist Church, and some uh, other Baptist church, they hide the fact that they know that their pastors and priests molest kids, right? Drop down to verse 32. Verse 32. Who knowing the judgment of God. They, these people all know the judgments of God. Read. That they which commit such things are worthy of death. They know that men as molesting little boys, according to the scriptures, are worthy of death. Read. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Those are the people that represent the church that know what's going on and they don't say anything about it. So guess what? They're all guilty of that. So that's why when we say um, the Christian church and we put it in a blanket statement, it's because we know these things are going on. They're being reported. Uh, they're being looked over. By, by the Catholic Church and by their leaders. And so that's why they get, that's why they, you know, they get that blanket statement. You can't say that about Israelites. Like you can't, you can't say that the Israelites have a problem with molesting kids. You can't say that. There's, no, there's nothing, no evidence to substantiate that, you know, but you could say that about the Catholic Church. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Uh, the Catholic Church is the most evil. Okay. All right. Good. So that's so. So when you say we make, you know, we make an oblique statement, it's not a oblique statement. It's evidence to support the statements that's made about the Catholic Church, if I was to say that, or the Southern Baptist Church, if I was to say that. If I was to pull it up, we can Google it right now. We would say that. If we was to say that black churches take in all types of money from the black community and don't help the community, there's facts on that we can look at it and we can see the money that's been taken in from the church and then we look at the ghettos that these churches are in so you can't say that it's the same thing because you have no evidence to support it dealing with the israelites 
Yeah, what I'm saying is the same thing is the claim that they're put the wrongful claim that they're putting on the labeled group. That is the same. It may not be the same offense, but it is the same uh, wrongful claim, pretty much lies being put on the group. Now, the Catholic Church, bro, you ain't gonna get no argument with me out of that. The Catholic Church is 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 like John the Baptist for Jesus, for, for Satan. You know what I'm saying? They are ushering in the way for the Antichrist to come in. I mean, it, it's just no doubt about that. The man literally speaks out of a snake um, head building. You know, once I saw that, you know, and once I looked at the pictures of how the stage looked to where when he's speaking, it looks like he's in the mouth of a snake with fangs on each side talking to his clergy. Bruh, ain't no Christian. See, this is what I'm talking about. Ain't no Christian going to even build a building shaped like a snake, a, a serpent, in order to talk to his main clergy. So we you. not. Well, but hold on, let, let me well, finish, just, brother. Just a, th just a thought. You know, um, most Christian churches have crosses on them. Though that's that's brother, definitely an idol. Brother, I understand so, that. But so it's no different than a snake. It's the same. No, thing. It, hold on, hold on. Let me let me finish, brother. Let me finish. It, it's a little different. It's not in the sense. It's an idol. I, I, I get you. I agree with that. I agree with we shouldn't so have no so idols, so no so pictures of Jesus. Yeah, it's evil. Yes, it's evil. Yes, it's evil. Um, but the the difference is doing it unknowingly versus doing it knowingly. A lot of Christians, people that call themselves Christians, they do it unknowingly, just like a lot of Hebrew Israelites didn't know um, when we lost our identity, we didn't know the law. You know, so the things that they did unknowingly, it falls in that category. Now, once you know, it's 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 all different. So but, Christians can't read. Yeah, but you know they don't. You know everybody don't study like y'all do, man. I mean, I mean that's just a simple fact. It's their own fault. Don't get me wrong, but that's just the truth. Well, that's on them. Yeah, exactly. I agree with you. That's why I say everybody that call themselves Christian aren't Christian. Everybody that call themselves, you know, whatever, are not that. You know. Okay. That's my whole point. Okay. So what? You, so basically, what you're saying is, is that um, you're saying that we label Christians something. And it's it's not accurate. No, what I'm do, saying. What do Israelites label Christians as not accurate? I mean, I don't. I don't been called. I don't been came. I don't came up here plenty of times and had the uh, Hebrew Israelite brothers tell me, you know, call me, you know, out my name, call me, tell me that I'm dumb as hell, I'm ignorant, uh, you know, all of this other stuff. And it may be true uh, to to a degree because don't nobody know everything, but it's the it's it's the labeling of the whole Christian uh, uh, lifestyle that they have in their mind that they're putting on one person that represents or that exudes one facet of Christianity, and that's not right. You know, so y'all don't. Do you think that um, when Israelites say Christians don't keep the commandments, do you do you think that they're saying that because they think that every Christian does not keep the commandments, or do you think it's making a blanket statement based on what most Christians say about keeping the commandments? A blanket statement based off of what most Christians say about keeping the commandments. Okay, so if we if we have to go by what most Christians say, is it unfair to make a statement about most Christians? I mean, just like yeah, it's unfair. Just like um, it's unfair to make a blanket statement about a Hebrew Israelite if one of them may mess up. Well, you said one, right? You see what you're saying? You're saying one. <laughs> Well, one right. or a thousand, it don't matter. Well, if, well, if, then, well, that's what I'm saying. If 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 you was to say that he that Hebrew Israelites you go to church on Saturday, then I would be like, even though all of them don't go to church on Saturday, I would say most of them do. I would agree with that. Now, if I said yeah. Christians go to church on Sunday, you would say, well, not all Christians go to church on Sunday, but we know most Christians go to church on Sunday. Yeah, you're right. And I would I would say that because every jot and tittle matters. You know, I think in, in these conversations, we blanket too much. And well, we, don't know, we don't know everybody. Just a thought. I don't know everybody on the planet. How in the world could we ever have a conversation about anything 
if we don't know everybody on the planet. You don't know me. You couldn't make a statement about me. I don't know you. I can't make a statement about you unless we sat and talked forever. So we would ne we could never talk about anything because we have to talk in absolutes. People, no, nothing is done in absolutes. Nothing. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, like you've heard me say today, I've never, I, I, I don't believe I've made a statement that was all-inclusive. You know what I'm saying? That's all you got to do is change the all-inclusive. Instead of saying Christians, say some Christians. I'll say you most. Know? I'll say most. Okay, you, you can say most if that's most. what you feel. But most. that still leaves a way out for those that are not because it's just like white people when they talk about black people. They meet one black person that may rob them or do something like that. And then now all black people are thugs. That's, okay. That ain't right. Do Okay, uh, but I mean, if we're going to be honest, you know, I think a lot of times black people don't want to be honest about what goes on in their communities. But all of them don't do that, brother. I didn't say all of them do that. But I mean, that's what you're insinuating. I'm not insinuating that. I'm just saying that when you have a community with more black people in it, a lot of times the yards don't get cut. A lot of times the trash don't get put out. A lot of times you have a lot of kids walking around the neighborhoods at night. That come I mean, on, it's, it's just it's just the truth. We, I mean, that's that's, I mean, that's terrible that you that you are taking on that mindset I because live, you know I live in black neighborhoods. What are yeah, you talking but, about? So you were one of them. What do you mean? You were one of the ones that didn't cut the grass, didn't take the trash no, out. I, you, no, I, I cut my. Grass. All right, then that's I what I'm fighting grass. for you. I'm fighting well, for you because you're in that community too. So it's not fair to say all the people do that. I never said all. We don't. You, know, we look. We what's we a blanket statement? We can't. We can't speak in. You want to speak in absolutes? So you what's a blanket a statement? You a blanket a statement is an absolute. Um, you live in a different world than most people live in. No, I'm talking to you, who I think understands these differences. So I wanted to talk on based off of this. You know what I'm saying? If I'm talking to the world, yes, we generalize. Yeah. But I'm talking if, to if you. I say Chinese people got weird eyes. Does every Chinese person have weird eyes? Probably yeah, that's not. my. That's my point, brother. But but that's my but, point. But if I was to say that you you gonna fight for the two people that don't have weird eyes, I'm bro. We just talk to. We, <laughs> yeah, man, I, I we, think you do understand, but nah, you just I don't, don't want to concede because you can't make a blanket statement for which that was the term you used. It's wrong to make a blanket statement when no, you with know no factual evidence. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. When you no factual evidence or statistics to back your statement, then yes, it is wrong. But if 99 Catholic priests have sex with little boys and one don't, if I say, hey, the Catholic Church got an issue with molesting kids, you would say, no, they don't because they all don't do it. And that would just be retarded. Right. But look, my, that just I came up here. Any, that wouldn't make any sense. If I, if I, if I dropped you in a room with a bunch of, por with, with 99 snakes in it, and one of them was poisonous that would kill you at one drop, you wouldn't want to be in there. You wouldn't be like, well, you know, all of them ain't poisonous. Nah, you'd be like, hey, get me out of here. They got poisonous snakes in here. So, I, I got mean, you. you just, I think you live on a place. I, I no, think like, you this really is conversation, wanna, you wanna man. Be, this is uh, conversation. You want to be defensive and you, 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 you know, I don't know. I don't understand. We didn't start off backing you in a corner. You kind of, you put yourself in the corner, which well, I don't no, understand you, it. You started off misquoting me, and I, di I, I didn't want you to go too far by by commenting on something that I didn't say. That's all. But I only came up here all right, because well, all the, the, all the Hebrew room. Israelites twisting the gospel. Yes. Okay. In what way? Okay. All right. Now you asked me some questions. Let me let me ask you a, just a, some th like three questions. No sir. It, no sir. Um. Or he or the Hebrew Israelites twisting the gospel. You yes. Say, yes. Give an example. No. Because on one hand, they say the law existed before it came to Moses. So if that is the case, um, when Adam was first formed and he started having children and we started to move forward in time, all these children of Adam, were, were they born with the law? Well, you, you're saying... Your argument is that there was no law before Moses. No, I'm saying uh, I'm I'm well. That there, there is law, but I'm talking about the Mosaic law written on stone. The and, Mosaic, and a lot the, of the Mosaic law is goes into animal sacrifice. That's Mosaic law. 
Oh, 600 and something. I don't know where you get that number from. Okay, well, the law. Well, I'm sorry. Let me let me rephrase the um, statement. The law. When y'all talk about it's, the law existed Sabbath, before it's, Moses, it's what Sabbath law are you talking law. about? Hold on, brother. I thought I was driving this turn. Right? I mean, this turn. Yeah, yeah. It's the Sabbath day of law. That has no reference to my point. Well, I'm saying if if the Sabbath day is a law, it definitely was before Moses. Okay, so is it's is the, is the, the Sabbath day a law? Yes. Then yes, the law is before Moses. All of it. Did you just did you just answer that? Did we just answer a question? What's you asked me about what is, is tithing a law? Yes. Then yes, tithing then the law is before Moses. Are the feast hey, laws? Judge. Hey judge, just like when Cain killed Abel, he said, uh, "Hey, somebody's gonna slay me," because in the law he knew that thou shalt not murder and if you shed man's blood, by, by man shall your blood be shed. He knew that. That was a law too. I'm, I'm trying to make a. I'm trying to. So are the feasts laws to keep the feasts? Which which feasts? I mean, all because of them. A are, lot of a lot of these feasts were memorials for things that happened. So you can't. So so that's what I'm saying. Something. You can't memorialize something that didn't happen yet. Yeah, I, I understand that. I understand that. that and that, and that is my point. I see you know where I'm going because they they we we are told to keep a feast of uh Passover and they couldn't have possibly kept it before being in captivity. So the law exists forever, you know, it it is truth forever. So my point is if the law is uh existed forever um in the way that you believe how then could you the Passover? It, you said existed forever. No, the law is forever. It doesn't say it existed forever. You won't find okay. that in the Bible. You made that. No, up. no, no. I believe. I believe. I just misspoke. I agree with that. That's fine. You know, I think it's semantics, but I, I agree with you. I mean, but yes, my, yours, yes, your semantics. You changed yeah, the I, words of the Bible. I, I, I got you. I got you. I got you. I, I apologize. You are correct, but my point is. When Adam and, and Eve were here on earth, if the law, whatever part of the law was here already, why did God only give the ten um, the the Mosaic law to Moses when it had already applied to everybody before um, Abraham was called out from among them? Where were the Israelites um, when he gave the law to Moses? What were they doing? Give me that. They were. That, um, what's that? What I want. Uh, Exodus 18 about the Egyptians or is Leviticus 18 yeah they're taking on the uh, customs of the Egyptians the book of Exodus chapter um, Leviticus Leviticus 18. chapter 18 and verse 2 start of verse 1 verse 1 and the Lord spake unto Moses saying who spoke this to Moses the Lord. Okay, read. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, I am the Lord your God. After the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do. And after the and after the doings of the land of Canaan, whither I bring you, shall ye not do. Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances. Ye shall do my judgments and keep my ordinances. To walk therein, I am the Lord your God. So why why did Moses have to tell them the laws? What happened that made them ha him have to tell them the laws again? They lost their way. They were in they captivity. Took on, yeah, they took on the customs of the Egyptians. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, but that, see, that's what I'm saying, brother. That, that, that ain't even my point. You know, it was given to Moses. What's your point? I'm trying. You to keep understand. interrupting me, brother. I'm trying. I'm trying to get it out the best way I can. And, and, and let me try again. The law was from if the law existed before uh, it was given in the way that it was given. Why doesn't it? Why doesn't the law that was given apply to the other people that the law applied to before Abraham? Because from Adam. 
lift on down, they were under some type of law. Now, a lot of these people went astray, you know, so but they were still under the law because Adam is the first the first man. So all of his descendants, they were under this same law that is forever. Now, he calls out Abraham and takes upon takes uh, people for himself as, as time goes forward. Um, the Israelites, they are become they're in captivity. And when they come out, they lost their way. But the people that never went under captivity will, that were under this eternal law. Why does not that new law apply to them, too? Are they Israelites? Yeah, but they were under the law before. Um, before Abraham was uh, called out. So you're telling me that, that God can only give a law one time? No, I'm not saying it at all. I'm not saying you're it saying at all. you saying God can't add to his laws? I'm saying the law is one, you know, and there's nothing to add to or take away. Okay. You believe in the New Testament? Yes, of course. Okay. Let's go to the book of Romans chapter 7. Can you answer my question? I'm about to answer it with the scriptures. All right. The book of Romans, uh, chapter Romans 7 and verse, uh, what I want, what I want. No, no, I'm sorry. Hebrews 7. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hebrews chapter 7 and verse, uh, la, 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 la. Uh, what I want for the priesthood being changed. Verse 12. Verse 12. Yeah, verse 12. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 12. For the priesthood being changed, there is made of necessity a change also of the law. So are you? Uh, can the law be changed? Hello? Just a thought. You muted. Yeah, my bad. Well, go ahead. So can the law be changed? Because we just read in Hebrews 7, for the priesthood being changed, it was a necessity for a change of the law. Uh, Did you say it? Because you said the law is e the eternal law. But Hebrews 7 said because it was a change in the priesthood, they had to have a change in the law. Now, that was a statement you corrected me on earlier, bro. Can you answer the question that he asked? Can the law be changed? I, I personally, I believe the law is biblically, the, biblically, biblically, biblically. Can the law? Yeah, be changed? I understand that, but 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 that's like a off that's like a trap judge, question. Off of what, because off of what he just corrected just me read, off of that. Off of what Judge just read out the Bible, out of the scriptures in the New yeah. Testament that you said you believe in, can the law? be changed yes based off of that yes but what about him correcting me earlier and saying it was eternal from I the very beginning I, I didn't i didn't say that you said that so what did you correct me on then because you said i said, I said it was semantics you said everlasting not eternal meaning all laws wasn't from the very beginning they didn't have passover at the very beginning but Passover is an everlasting covenant. They didn't have Once the Feast of Tabernacles in the very beginning. But when the Lord instituted it, he said it was going to be eternal. Even in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to keep these feast days. It thus saith the Lord. So I don't, I don't understand what you're talking yeah. about. Okay, okay. Um, when I was listening to someone else, they didn't put it down like that. You know, they didn't they didn't say it like that. They came out of the Bible and their point was it was there was law the, that was, it was the law, the same law all throughout time. And that's what I was coming up here, you know, to, to, to discuss, because I don't see that being the case. Oh, well, I didn't say that. Hey, so you basically kind of lumped us all into one thing that you had a problem with earlier. You, you'd made well, a general not. thought and statement about all of us, right? Not really, because that's why I came up here to ask. Well, you didn't ask that. Well, the question is, the, the room is put in such a way, I just couldn't come up here and ask a question. I had to come up here in the way that the room is opened. Oh. So you had to come to see from? 
Say what now? I don't, I don't want to argue. Yeah. So, ain't okay. nobody, ain't nobody. so okay. So basically, with what you said that we um, twist the scriptures, did we twist that scripture or? Well, that well, if I if I heard him correctly, that brother did, and I thought that was represented. Most of the time, all y'all are pretty much in lock and sync with each other. So that's so why I came up here. Made a generality about us. You, you got on Judd well, earlier. This man is a hypocrite. <laughs> you got on Judd earlier by saying we can't generalize the Christian church, but then you generalized us based on what told some you. other said to you. I just told you, based off of how the room is set up, the question posed by the room. It's not about how the room is set up. The question of the room is, are the Hebrew Israelites twisting the gospel? And then you went off on a tangent about generalities, and then Judd brought you back to the point. You said, yes, we do twist the scriptures. And then you went to the law being before Moses, and you got corrected on that. And instead of saying, okay, you know what? I was wrong. I did make a general statement about all of y'all, which I just accused y'all of doing to Christians. Now you're trying to rebuttal the point. Like, you can't do that. It's impossible right now at this point. All of this stuff is recorded. Like, you I have know, been recorded being a hypocrite right now. The question is generalizing. So I had to follow suit of the question, brother. That's that's okay, what I so said. That brother still, said that. So I came point. up here to ask. And the question is, are the Hebrew Israelites twisting the gospel? So I came in under but that. You didn't statement. go to the gospel. You went to before Moses. You went to before Moses. You didn't even talk about the gospel. We went around all of this stuff, and I have no idea what your point actually is. Well, I'm 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 sorry you you you've been here the whole time and don't have a understanding of what my point is. Okay, so all right, so so basically, all right, so now when it came to the question you at that, that you said that we twisted. Because we said about the that law. one brother, so you realize brother you, you realize that that's not true. All right. So yeah. what else? Well, I, I don't think that everybody is of Hebrew Israelite blood. All the people, there's we no way we don't we don't believe that either. What's the, what's next? Now that ain't the case, bro, bro, bro. I know I don't heard y'all look here saying that. Y'all call every black, almost every anybody that say they're Hebrew Israelite, y'all co-sign with it. You said I know everybody that. who says they are Hebrew Israelite. Black people, black people. You say that black all people. black people are Israelites. Anybody that want to join, y'all let or, them join or, under or, that or, title. Are Egyptians black? Black? You just start talking about black earlier. Are, I mean, are Egyptians black people? Black people is not a people. You just went over there. Oh, God. He just, you said black. Okay, okay. Yeah, like, listen to me, brother. Listen. You did yeah. just say black. You said yeah. black. So I understand are, that. Are but... Egyptians considered black people? Yes. Okay. Egyptians are not Israelites. Are Ethiopians considered black people? Yes. The Ethiopians are not Israelites. Where else, where else can we go? So I'm letting you know that that's not true. So that's I get another you. false. That's another falsehood that you're speaking. What else you let got? Me, let me, the next one. Are you a Hebrew Israelite? I am an Israelite. Do you know this by blood work? No. Who's well, blood, I'm gonna, who's blood I'm going to compare it to? Exactly. So you don't the Hebrew Israelite. Then nobody, there, nobody will blood. know it by blood work. Where, what scripture says that we will prove that we're the Israelites by blood? Where does it say you're going to prove any other way? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15, and then go to verse uh, uh, four, uh, f uh, 48. No, not 48. You know what I want. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So the scripture says that the curses will be upon the Israelites for a sign. What does a sign do? Um, just a thought. A sign uh, points you in the right direction. It uh, identifies things. Yeah, it does that too. So the Bible says that the curses will be upon the Israelites for a sign. Read. And for a wonder, read, and upon thy seed forever. So does the Bible say we can use the curses to identify the Israelites? 
Uh, I don't I don't understand that. It said it's going to be a sign. A sign of what? No, nope, it, sign said, it didn't say broke. it. No, nope, no, nope, no. It says, and they shall be upon thee for a sign. Okay. The curses will be upon the Israelites for a sign. So it says agree. the curses will identify the Israelites. Okay. So there you go right there. So that's another one. But, What's but next? That don't, that don't, no, hold on. It's not next because that doesn't apply. How do you know that applies to you and every other person in the Hebrew Israelite um, group? Well, I don't know if it applies to every person that's in the Israelite group, but I know I can read the curses and it applies to me. And it applies to most African-Americans. It applies to most so-called Haitians. It applies to most so-called Dominicans. It applies to most of them. Now, am I 100 percent? No, I'm not. I, I, I can't be a thousand percent true, but I go by the curses. That's what I go by to identify. At the I, end look, of the day, I'm going to keep the commandments and look. And Christ said, let the weak grow with the tares and said at the end, they're going to do the separating. I'm I'm not trying to be combat. I'm gonna make one statement, then I'm gonna get off and let somebody else go. No, but you don't have to make any statements. You know, you said. I mean, I would I would you like said to. that we didn't agree. So I want to like some to. of the other was some of the other twists. You said everything that you said was all we. I've proved it wrong. So do you have? No, you any haven't, more? brother. No, you haven't. No, you yes, haven't. I have. You you conceded every time. So what's the next one? I can see because I don't want to argue. I just you're, want to make a on, point. You're on, you're on tape with this being recorded. Yeah, I, I ain't so got no you, problem with the tape. We can go back and listen to time. it. Uh, you know, so what's the next one? What's the next thing you uh, think brother, the Israelites twist the scripture on? Brother, when Abraham was called out, there were other black people living. They okay. had descendants Abraham, also. Abraham Hold wasn't on. an Israelite either. Hey, Hold judge. on, let me finish. Let me finish, please. Judge. So so when, when, when Abraham was called hey. out from among them... From which Abraham Brother. begot Isaac, and Isaac Brother. begot Jacob. Brother, man, listen, this good. I have one scripture for you. One scripture. Hold on, man. Let me let me finish my thought, bro. Because y'all keep interrupting me, man. You ain't even a moderator. But uh, when Abraham was called bro. out from among them, y'all not going. Y'all not going to let. Y'all not going. Bro, he's a, on, he's a moderator. Bro. Oh yeah, my <laughs> bad. I didn't see the green dot. I apologize, Barnabas. I apologize. So go ahead. You still come up here with it, with it, your, 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 like, bro, he is not a scholar. This is, give me the first Corinthian real quick. <clears throat> first Corinthians 15, verse 39. Read it for me real quick. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 39. All flesh is not the same flesh. Stop. You understand? Judge being telling you, we are not an Hebrew Israelite. You know what I'm saying? For real. As I'm saying, you go to the scripture, you show you that the priesthood been changed. Are you still been babbling? Read it one more time again, man. All flesh is not the same flesh. That plain and straight, son. You understand for real? You see what I'm saying? We are different from the Egyptian. You understand for real? We are different from the African, the Sudanese. We are different. You understand for real? You want to use blood line to prove us if we are the Israelite. Bro, the scripture done said what it said. You understand? God right. use blood. So, God use blood, brother. Hey, oh, bro, listen, listen, it's good. Listen, it's good. No, okay. God use blood. Did he brother, not? Stop. Hey, watch, bro. I'm just, I just read a scripture to you. You know what I'm saying? And you're still bubbling. Read it one hey. more time. Yeah? Read, no, read more than that scripture because read I know when the Bible, when God again. made the animals, they not of the same flesh but, as me. And so, listen for a minute. Just listen for a minute. The only way you're going to learn because I know you is not a scholar. He's not a scared. You don't know no scriptures. So you can't come up here to try the bad lust. That's one thing. Read the scripture one more time. First Corinthians 15, 39. Mm -hmm. All flesh is not the same flesh. You know what I'm saying? The Bible said all flesh is not the same flesh. Come on. But there is one kind of flesh of men. You know what I'm saying? He said there's one kind of flesh of men. Watch this. Another flesh of beast. So no, for real. So when... When you cut an animal, right? And you cut a, a human, a man. That, that just got you, bro. Of blood? Hey, watch this. Brothers, listen, man. When you cut an animal and you cut a human, you understand? What color blood came from the animal? And what color blood came from the human? So if a blood Red. you're talking about, blood type you're talking about. No, brother. Red. All right. So... If it's the blood you're talking about, blood don't make up nothing. 
You know what I'm saying? You're talking about seed. We're talking about seed. What yeah. God say about the blood? Oh, Abraham, all up. How many kids Abraham have, son? Bro. How they, they, many I'll... kids Abraham had? I'm sorry. Say that again. I didn't understand. How many kids Abraham had? Uh, He had many kids. I, I don't know the number off top, but Ishmael and Isaac were the first two. Then he had more. How many more? I don't know the exact number, brother. All right, so you, you don't know the exact number, but you're up here running them out. You see that? But so that that's not my point, though. Understand. That's not my brother, point. Brother, you're talking about blood type, and I'm here to to, to, to let you know that blood Bro. does not bring you to no kingdom. Blood do not do it. Because Abraham have eight kids, eight sons. Give me Genesis 25. Let me see. I'm not you arguing know. that, brother, but you just read a scripture about flesh that cut you. All, it said all men flesh is the same. Watch me this. Point, from bro. Just listen. Just listen for a minute because you right here, you know where you're going you're gonna, you're gonna go head way down into a hole. Just now. Watch this. Read it for me real quick. Genesis 25. Yeah. Verse 1. Genesis chapter 25 verse 1. Then again, Abraham took a wife and her name was Keturah. Come on. And she bare him Zimran. So Abraham I had another wife, Katora, and he bear him Zemram, that's one, come on. And Jokshan. Jokshan, two. And and Midan. Midan, three. And Midian. Midian, four. And Ishbak. Ishbak, five. And Shua. Shua, six. So Abraham, six sons. So if you're talking about blood type, if you're talking about blood, you know what I'm saying? For rich. For rich. We're going to jump down to verse five. Five. Same verse. To verse five. Verse 5. Mm -hmm. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac. Come on. But unto the sons of the concubines, which Abraham had, Abraham gave gifts. I thought all of, all, of, I thought, all, of, I thought all of these kids is Abraham kids, right? Yeah, um, but we serve the, the God on. of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Brother, stop. Just listen. The only way you're going to learn something, bro. You talking about blood type, I'm here to show you it is not blood, bro. It bro. is about promises. It's about promises, son. Because Abraham have eight, eight Abraham have eight son. One with Agar, which is Ishmael. And I'm Isaac. Yeah, you know I'm saying for real. And you have six more kids with Katoria. Abraham took all what he had and gave unto Isaac. But he said of the son of the concubine, what he did. And the sons of the concubine. But the sons of the concubines, which Abraham had, Abraham gave gifts. Abraham and, gave Watch this. We're going to go to Genesis all up. Abraham gave gifts. Abraham gave them gifts. Let me see what Abraham did after. Wait. Go to Genesis 22 now. Genesis hey, 22. Brother. Try to just make hey, it. It's so easy for these guys to just listen for one minute. Genesis 22. Go to Genesis 22, verse 2. I'm talking about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No one else. I'm talking about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's the God I'm talking about. I'm talking about the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No one else. I'm sorry. The, the, the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I'm talking about the descendants of Abraham. That's what it is. Because Abraham is a patriarch. But that was never my point. That was never my point. The point is, your point is, you're talking about blood. I'm trying to show you that it is not blood, son. Read it for me real quick. Genesis chapter 22, verse 2. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son, Isaac. Oh, so if thou it's, lovest. Hold up, so if it's, if it's about blood, why? Why, when you read to Genesis 22, verse 2, he said, Take now. Thy only son, all of eight kids. So the most I compare not that Abraham only have one only kids. All of eight. Remember, this is from Abraham. Bows. This is from Abraham's seed, son. So the most I said, take no what? Read it again. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son, Isaac. You see that he said, Okay, all of eight kids. The Bible said, only what all mean. That means Abraham just have one son. That those kids, the most I don't compare those kids. Not because they came from Abraham's seed. You know what I'm saying? For real. So if his blood is talking about bird, it don't make. It don't mess, son. So you up here been just bubbling, bubbling. But bro, it, you, you cannot bring the other nation in. It's not there. Oh, the, you know what 
I'm saying, Barnabas, can, can I say something to you, Barnabas? Back to your judge. Back to your judge. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna keep bubbling with you, bro. I just made it. Barnabas, right, we gonna, my hey, whole point was about the bloodline of my whole point was about the bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, Isaac and James. Yeah, we gonna we gonna leave you up here. Uh, we gonna y'all go, always leave me alone because y'all can't real. answer that question. We're gonna go through real quick. Just hold on, just a thought. I answer every one of your questions. No, you right? didn't, brother. Do you not? Do you... I answer every one. So we're gonna go to Diane. We're gonna move. Y'all on. scared of that question? Yeah, I'm scared. No. We don't. <laughs> Drop the brother, man. Drop him, man. Get him. Get him. Other I've other asked man. it for. Never get an answer for that. Uh, Diane. Who was? I mean, uh, who moderating? Wise. Yeah, we got Mitch. Uh, got Mitch taking yeah. over. Yeah, I'm on. Hello. Hey, shalom. Hey, y'all. Are we on, Diane? Can we replug the room real quick? Can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. hear you. All right. All right, so this is our biblical smoke topic of the night or the Hebrew Israelites twisted the gospel, all right? So y'all can hit us up at biblicalsmoke at gmail.com. Hit us up on Twitter. We got a uh, beginner's booklet. If y'all want to reach out to us, hit us up at biblicalsmoke at gmail.com. So we're going to move on in the queue. Uh, we got Sister Diane up. You ready You ready to uh, speak on the topic? Yes. Um, I would say, according to the topic, that no... Um the the Israelites aren't twisting the gospel. And I would say that because I think that the other nations are afraid of us knowing who we are and getting together and coming together and following God's laws. And I use scripture, Romans chapter 11, verse 25 through 28. The book of Romans chapter 11 and verse 25. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness is in part is happened to Israel until the until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. And so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes. But as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. Okay, sis, what, what you were saying, what you trying to say with this with the scriptures right here? That the other nations are basically afraid of us coming together. And, and following God's laws so that we can be able to reach the the new new kingdom and be with be with uh be with Christ. Okay. Anyone with moderating that wanna help out real quick? Hey, no, I'm I'm with her. I'm with you on that. Um, you know, the other nations, the one thing the other nations know that we don't know is who we are, and they know the judgment for what they did uh, to us, right? Uh, Christ, and Christ spoke about that. Give me that Revelation chapter 13, verse 9 and 10. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So the other nations know for what they did and for what their ancestors did, they, it's going to be a judgment and a punishment for that. So if the longer and longer they can keep us in sin, they understand that we won't get our kingdom and that they can stay out of that captivity that's promised. Read. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Read. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So that's what we patiently waiting on for our people to repent. And they're doing everything they can do to do what? To stop that from happening. To stop that from happening. As a matter of fact, give me that in uh, Revelation chapter. Revelation chapter 12 and verse. What I want, what I want. 12 and verse 12. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, 
and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So he knows the time short for him to have to uh, go through that judgment. So guess what? He coming down with great wrath. That great wrath that he put on, it ain't, it's not for everybody. Drop down to verse 17. Verse 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So the dragon or the so-called white man or Esau, or Idumia, whatever you want to call them, their job is to come against those that's keeping the commandments of God and the faith of Christ. That's who they're wroth against. That's who they're fighting against. That's what they're trying to make sure they can prevent us from keeping the commandments so they can keep us in our captivity. So yeah, the sister was right on. Right, right. And uh, so and that's why the Israelites are out here um, to bring forth the true gospel so the Israelites can, can wake up and come back to the nationality and, and come back to our kingdom. Uh, so we're going to move on in the queue. I think we have Latanya. You there, Latanya? Latanya. Did she fall off? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I think she fell off. All right, brother. I put, I put it back up. Back up. Okay, Latanya, you there? Am I unmuted? Yeah, your mic real low, Latanya. You might have to come back out and uh, come back in. Yeah, you real low. Oh. You real low. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Can you hear me? You're on a headset? You got a headset on? Yes. Yes, I'm on AirPods. Yeah, you might take it off, sis. Hello? Hello? I can't even hear myself. Shalom. Yeah, you real low, sis. So you coming in low. Okay, I'm I'm gonna come back. All right, come back, come back. Okay. Yeah, come back. Uh, we had a brother, uh, Ezekiel. You there, bro? Yeah, I'm here. What you got on top, bro? Uh, Shalom. Yeah. Um, all the Hebrew Israelites twisting the gospel. No. Um, I think we just heard with the other brother. Um. Jack, whatever his name was, um, who really twists the gospel. Um, Christianity, really, they don't even like to read the Bible. That's why they get so offended when you go to the scriptures. So, um, you know, it's evident who really twists the scriptures or not. They don't know what be going on with these scriptures, man. And uh, they come over here making all these statements, trying to combat those that know the Bible. And uh, come over here. To uh, so we appreciate you, bro. We're going to go to uh, Sister Latanya. You ready? Hello? Hello? Uh, you, sound, you sound a little bit better. You're still low, sis. Yeah, you kind of uh, kind of know that, sis. Uh, hey, why are we talking though? It looks like a sister named Christina Nick is in the chat, and I, she says something about enemies of the gospel. I'm trying to see what she's um, referring to or whatnot. Um, you want to come on stage, Christina? I know you, you're saying a lot in the comments. Maybe trying to see if you want to come on stage and kind of. Give an understanding of what she's saying. She was on stage and then she dropped herself off and then she's just been in the comments for the last 20 minutes. 
I've invited her at least four more times and she hasn't decided to come on stage. But I, I keep on inviting her. Yeah, Sister Christina, Nick, uh, you're welcome to come on the stage and uh, you know, uh, prove your point or give us your ideas in regards to what you think about the Israelites and what we bring out, what we teach. I think I think she's probably going to listen and then they're going to have a conference about the Israelites. <laughs> that, 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 that's well, right. She said Romans 11. I, lo- I You know, I love when Christians go to Romans 11. Re- read Romans 11, start at verse 1. It's, it's so funny. It's like, you know, they bring out the black highlighter when it comes to uh, Romans 11. Um, she only heard one thing. She just heard blindness in part to Israel. That's the only thing she heard out of her whole Bible. In Romans 11, everything is blacked out. Probably uh, grafting in is probably um, it's probably still open, and that's it. You know, that's for the most part. That's how Christians deal with the Bible. But uh, read that. Start Romans chapter eleven. Start at verse one. The book of Romans chapter eleven and verse one. I say, then has God cast away His people? So that's the question. You know, that's the question to Christina Nick. Has God cast away His people? Read. God forbid. It means no. God has not cast away his people that Christ was prophesied to come and save. Read. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. Now let's go to the scripture that the uh, sister quoted because she stopped at one. But let's read verse 26. No, no, no. Read verse 25 real quick. Romans chapter 11 and verse 25. Go ahead. For I will not, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery. He says, brethren, talking to the Israelites. Go ahead. Lest you should be wise in your own conceits. That blindness in part is happened to Israel. Until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. Until the fullness of the Gentiles come in. I'm sure Christina would think that the Gentiles go into all the other nations. But that's not true. Even Christ let you know that the Gentiles are not the other nations. Give me that Matthew chapter uh, four, I think, verse 17, 16. Yes. The book of Matthew chapter four and verse 15. I hope that Christina believes in Christ. Uh, Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Matthew chapter four, verse 15. The land of Zebulon and the land of Naphtali. By the way of the sea. Beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. So they were called Gentiles. The northern kingdom of Israel were called Gentiles. Um, I don't know if they teach that in Sunday school. Uh, I'm I'm sure they don't. (laughs) Let's go back to Romans 11. uh, Read verse uh, 25. Romans chapter 11, verse 25. For I would not, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery. Lest you should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. Read. And so all Israel shall be saved. And so all Israel shall be saved. So it's going into the northern and southern kingdom of Israel. They're both going to be saved. All Israel is going to be saved. Go to uh, Daniel chapter 12 and verse 2. Christians don't really read the Old Testament. They, they they read it, but they read it like they'll just read words. Thou, O king, says, and behold, a great image, the image of God, whose brightness was existed. Yeah, I read the whole Bible. They they not read to understand or learn or get any kind of knowledge. They just read and they say, yeah, I read the whole Bible 10 times. I read it every year. But they have no understanding of the scriptures. Read that. Daniel. So Daniel 12 and 2. Uh, yes. Is that what I want? You might want Daniel 9 11, maybe. What did I say? You said 12 and 2. Yeah, yeah, Daniel 9 11. Hold on, how I, get? I got 12 and 2 written there. That's crazy. The book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 11. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses. The servant of God, because we have sinned against him. And he hath confirmed his words 
which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil for under the whole heaven hath not been done as hath been done upon jerusalem so it's letting you know that romans 11 is going into all israel being saved all israel israel b being woken up from the gentile state of mind just like our sister uh christina uh she probably thinks she's a gentile uh but she's not but it is what it is that's what happens with a lot of our people they really don't understand the bible and it and it goes mostly into um into not keeping the commandments and that's a big thing that goes into christianity uh, is like is that guy on here still he left yeah just the right you know most uh about 99.999999 percent of christians uh don't keep the commandments of god neither do they believe you have to keep the commandments of god they just believe you have to have faith um and by them not keeping the commandments they have no understanding an uh, understanding of the bible give me that in psalms chapter 111 verse 10 the book of psalms chapter 111 and verse 10 the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom a good understanding have all they that do his commandments so you have to keep the commandments to get a good understanding which 99.9999999 percent of christians don't all right well i'm gonna leave uh christina alone i'll let her just type stuff in the chat um all right latonya you ready now you good i guess this mic ain't working tonight uh malachi Yeah, you still low, sis. You're still low. Oh, okay. so we go, we we'll come back to you hopefully later on. Malachi, you there? Yeah, Shalom, Masa, Christ bless. Hey, Malachi. Yeah. yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, what you got on topic? Uh, I just got a scripture real fast. Oh, well, my essay is no, I do not think the Hebrew Israelites twist the gospel. Can I get uh, first Timothy chapter 1 8 through 11? The book of first Timothy chapter 1 and verse 8. But we know that the law is, is good if a man use it lawfully. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for sinners, for unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for men stealers, for liars, for, per for per perjured persons. And if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine, According to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which was committed to my trust. I mean, my mic. All right, well, appreciate you, brother. Michael, what you got on the topic? Michael, you there? Hey, really? Michael, yeah. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? No, I can't. We can't hear you, bro. It's, it's come, come on, come back in. Oh, okay. Let me back. Let me come back. Why, why are you getting situated? We'll come back to you, bro. Devin. What you got on top? I will say yes if, and it's a if, the Israelites was teaching that Jesus was born on Christmas on December 25th. If Israelites was teaching that Jesus died on Friday and rose on Sunday three days later, that's when I would say that the Israelites are twisting the gospel. 
Who's swift in the gospel? The church. And our lamb all slain. Yeah, you you never you never hear the Israelites teaching that Jesus Christ uh, was born on December twenty fifth. You you never hear the Israelites teaching that you can bring a Christmas tree in the house. But we all know that that wicked holiday coming up, and a whole lot of Christians probably got to do have a tree in the house right now. So you know we got we got to see who's teaching the Bible right, who's teaching it, who's teaching it wrong. Because these Christians is not teaching the Bible right. Where is hey, Christmas can I coming on it? Yeah, who's that? That's just yeah, a thought. Yeah. I knew you were gonna come in. Just a call, yeah. just a thought. You celebrate Christmas? Hell no. Oh, that's good, man. That's good. But you know, you, I, we I know most, Christ, most Christians celebrate Christmas, bro. And I get them all the <laughs> time. There was a there was a guy putting up a nativity sign right outside. I would taking my trash to the daggone dump. I could not pass this dude, yo. I went like two miles past him, and I had to turn around. And I talked to him, and I pretty much, you know, for the sake of time, told him, you putting a lie out here. I said, ain't no wise man never met no baby Jesus in no manger. This dude told me that he knew that, but he put it out there just so it could draw the people in. So I said, so you drawing people in with a lie? I yeah, said, bro, this ain't a yeah. God, man. Yeah, that's that's like the Christian church. So what what are you? Come on, um, man. Just you gonna kill me like that at the end? <laughs> yeah, it is. That's the oh, yes. every Christian church I've ever been to in my life has a Christmas tree in their building right now. It's a it's a hundred percent guaranteed. We can watch the live <laughs> on December twenty fifth. We will see Christmas trees. But you say you different, right? So I'm gonna ask you a question. And you said you call yourself a believer of the way or follower of the way or what did you I say? just said i just said believer believer you believe in the bible yes so do you believe we have to keep the feast days in the bible do you, you believe we to... have to follow christ's steps i believe yes we have to follow the law of christ do we have to follow Christ? See, I didn't say that. You see how you deceptive? Give me second, uh, <laughs> second Peter's. Y'all do the same thing, bro. Go to second Peter chapter thing. two. Go to second Peter chapter two, verse twenty-one, real quick. Let's read the Bible. You believe in the Bible, right? Yeah, man. For the third All right. time. All right. Just making sure. I just want to make sure you believe in the Bible. Read that. Second Peter chapter two, verse twenty-one. The book of First Peter chapter two, verse twenty-one. Oh, First Peter. For even hereunto were ye called. Because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. So we should we follow Jesus Christ's steps? Of course. Okay, give me John chapter 10, verse 22. The book of John chapter 10 and verse 22. And it was at Jerusalem, the Feast of the Dedication. The Feast of the Dedication. Uh, just a thought. Do you keep the Feast of Dedication or Hanukkah? If we go down this road, bro, you got to let me talk. I'm you asking a simple, Christ said, let your yeas be yea and your nays be nay. Anything, and I have no anything problem with else that. Is sin is evil. It's some evil in there. Listen, so, I have so no problem it's, with it. It's simple. No watch this. With, watch this. Hey, I have Mish, no problem with being Mish, trapped by you. Mish, ask me, do I keep the feast of dedication? Do you keep the feast of dedication, Judge? Y yes. All right. I'm just a friend. thought. Do you keep the feast of dedication? No. Okay. Can read John 10 22 one more time. <clears throat> the book of John, chapter 10, verse 22. And it was at Jerusalem, the Feast of the Dedication. And it was winter. And Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. So Christ kept the Feast of Dedication. But you don't because you don't follow Christ. All right. Who was next? Who we had next? See, you see what I mean? See what I mean? You see well, how you, you do? What, you, don't, you don't. Christ yeah, kept yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come, Come on, bro. Hey, Come hey, on, bro. You, if you're going to have... If you, you're gonna be if you're gonna have this power, bro. You got this disseminated equally, man. I mean, seriously, nah, you just want to you just want to ask somebody a question and just then just talk. cut them off like that. I didn't cut you just off. Talk. You wasn't talking. You 
You started doing it. <laughs> you, you said never no. Shut up. You said you never no. Shut up. You went on you, you went said, on to somebody hey, else. Just a, just a thought. I don't have to shut up. You on my you on our channel. You can't. And that's be what here, I mean by with right? the power. I asked you a and question. I understand that. Ain't nobody to the, when the, hey when, when Christ come back and give us our power, we ain't a, we ain't disseminating that power with nobody. We gonna rule them. And simps like you that want to play Christian, that don't want to keep the commandments, that don't follow Christ, guess what? You're going to be put to death in that day. So it is what it is. So no, bro, we you disseminate you power with you. you. Don't know, it ain't happening. You it ain't, you ain't the ruler, disseminate bro. power. I ain't the ruler. I just, I follow the ruler. And you the, know ruler what I'm kept, the ruler kept Hanukkah. Why you don't follow the ruler? I wanted to try to explain that to you. And you, you don't. You, you don't. Ain't no else. explaining. It ain't no, you it ain't no explaining. You, you can't explain you why you, you don't keep the commandments. No, I, you I, want you to, I, want, I want you to give a Christ-like answer. You Christ do the same thing to the police. Yays be yay and your nays be nay. I ain't never killed nobody in my life, so stop it. No, I ain't say that you killed You anybody. said I do the I same you. thing the police do. The police kill people, right? Well, that ain't all they do, bro. ha, 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 ha. That hey, ain't funny. Got, That's like real simple. Who we, we, we got man. next, man? Who we got next? I like him on stage for the smoke every once in a while. Yeah. I'm gonna get dry. Yeah, he a trip, man. Um, yeah, yeah I'm a trip guy. because y'all don't never let me talk. Man, you don't talk enough, bro. Get your line. Whatever. He mad. Yeah, this man. Michael Brown. Can you hear me? I ain't mad, man. I just want to represent my point hey, of view, man. like y'all okay. do. Hey, listen, you got other people on stage. They want to. They want to speak. We've been talking to you for a long time, bro. Let's let's move on. We're gonna move uh, on, Mike. Wow. Yeah, this is uh, this is Michael. Yeah, I'd like to say peace to everyone. I had a question, um, comment, question about the gospel, and I put in the chat. Um, I didn't get any response. Maybe, maybe you brothers can. Um, I say that there are two different gospels in the Bible, two different ones. That's right. And uh, there's one, you know, one. That you all are talking about in the New Testament, which you know everybody is familiar with, but very few are familiar with the the gospel, or uh, better still, the good tidings, which the word gospel comes from, or the good tidings of Yah, which are which is in the Law and the Prophets. And the context of the good tidings of Yah is uh, future prophecy; um, it hasn't taken place yet. And so that, that, that's a totally different gospel. But one, of course, is based upon a uh, thus saith Yah in the Law and the Prophets, and the other one is, is not. So what are you saying, Brother Mike? <laughs> oh, I said a lot, if you were listening. So, so you're saying, so... What you have in your yeah? Hold on just a minute. Somebody take over. Is that it? Yeah, can you repeat what you said? You saying that there are that there are two gospels? Okay, I'll, I'll repeat it, brother. I'll okay, repeat can it. you get? Can you just? Um, are, well, you kind of going in and out. That's why we couldn't hear you. Your phone kind of breaking in and out. So can I can you give me the scripture? Okay. Can you, yeah. Can you give me the scripture that show the two gospels? We'll read them for you. Just quote them, and I'll, I'll read or read. Give you them. give you the scripture. Right? Yeah, the scripture that okay. That, that, All right. That, that so, quotes the two gospels. No, no, no. I said that our two. There's one that you all were yeah, talking yeah, about, the right? Yeah. Can you? Yeah. It yeah, is yeah. not. Yeah, yeah, the one right, the one you were talking about was not is not founded or based upon thus saith Yah in okay, the law. So of what, the I'm, what I'm asking you to do, listen to what I'm asking you to do. I'm asking you to give me the scripture that talks about the two gospels. That's what you said. You said it's two gospels, right? Or maybe I heard you. I wrong. said there are two gospels. I didn't say there was a scripture that talks about two gospels. So what are you? What are you saying? Okay, well let's. And then all I. Right, well let's. Oh, real quick, real quick. Right, hold, let me, hold, let me, hold on. Let me, hold let on. Hold on. No, okay. no. 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 We're not going to do that. You saying no? Not, no. 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 You have to that. be humble, brother. You, know, you, you follow Christ, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Christ didn't let people speak. Okay. Either. So he so said, he said not for an hour. They didn't let people speak. You're supposed to be defending the gospel. So you're supposed to be defending the gospel, right? I can't have. Have a stance 
until we understand what you are saying. You said that there are two no, gospels. They understand. Michael, Let me Michael, explain. Michael, me. Michael, Michael, but you, Michael, we're going to have to move you to the you bottom. Can't speak for everybody. I'm, I'm, no, I know I'm not. I'm speaking for me. I'm speaking for me. Talk, then, then you will My, understand. Michael, listen, I'm asking you a simple question. Simple. All right. What scriptures in the Bible describe your two gospels that you're talking about? That's what we want to know. We don't want to hear Michael. We want to hear Bible. Give me Bible. You look, you look it up. It's for you to Google. Look up the word good tidings for those who are taking notes. It's not all about you, brother. That's for those saying. who are taking notes, listen, you, let, let me explain. For those who are taking notes, Write the word, the word gospel. All right, let's go to uh, Romans chapter three real quick uh, to help out our brother, uh, Michael. He's probably still talking, but you can't you can't come out and say something. And then we ask you, where is it in the Bible? And you're like, well, I don't know. Google it. Give me Romans chapter three (laughs) and verse three. The book of Romans, chapter 3, and verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. So the scripture says that God has to be true, but every man is a liar. Even myself, you know, God said, the hey, he says, say that. oh my goodness. You, the New uh, Testament is uh, not. All right. So the scripture says, let, the let New God Testament be is not true. scripture. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, right. And I would debate you on that. Don't run. I never, I right didn't. On that one. I did I never, I'm not running. I, I mean, you said you the New Testament. Okay, well, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you one right. question. I'm going to ask you one question real quick. All right. You said the New Testament is not it's scripture. It's not scripture. Okay. Right. All right. I do. Uh, I have videos on it. Been on YouTube for 15, 16 years. I just want to say that is that is not right. So this is who I'm talking to, Michael. No, I don't know. Somebody else uh, spoke. I don't know. All right, I want to ask you. I want you to tell me what this means. You believe in the Book of Psalms, right? Do I believe in the book of is Psalms? That, is that is okay, that is that me, is that biblical? On, is the book of Psalms? Hold is, on. You want to know? Oh, just ask me what, my brother. This guy. That's right not. Here. Oh my goodness! You want to know what I believe? No, 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 no. I definitely don't want you I to break you down. No, nah, it's not happening tonight. But you said the New Testament. You in you in um the Matrix. You in the Matrix. You in the Matrix. We can't hear you. We right. can't hear you. We can't hear you. Your phone's messed up. Okay, yes. Yeah. New yeah. Testament is not scripture, okay. but if you want to right, know what right. you believe, All right. No, 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 no. I don't want to know what you believe. I'm asking I I I ask you a, I ask you a specific question. Is the book of Psalms is that real or no? But you you see how you see how I'm that asking you slid it away from I'm asking no, you're a simple not, question. Is the book of Psalms? The so why are we talking the about book, the book of Psalms? But you don't, say you don't believe in the gospel. <laughs> you say you don't believe in I the New Testament. I didn't say that at all. So, you're trying to so, put words in my mouth. You said the New Testament is not real. You said the New Testament is not real. No, I did not say the New Testament is not real. What did you don't say? Put words what, did, in my what did you say, Michael? Why are you putting words in my mouth? What did you say, Michael? People are listening and Michael, they're taking notes. I'm asking you, what did you say then, Michael? I know, so I can quote you right. Answer, I want to quote brother, you right. You're cutting me off in the midst of my speech. I want to quote you you're right. You're not doing what Christ did you, with you. What, you don't believe in Christ. So what did you say, Michael? But you, but you profess to follow him and obey him and you're, and you're not. You're not representing Christ whatsoever. You don't believe in Christ. You're supposed to be representing Christ. How can I represent somebody mm-hmm. you don't believe in? So, Michael, I'm going to ask you again. How can you represent? Um, you see that? You see do you believe in the, uh, in the, in the Old the Testament? Testament do you believe in the Old Testament, if you Michael? you just be quiet, I can explain to everyone. They're trying uh, to listen. No, but you no they're not trying to. Them. Nobody's trying to listen to you. But I'm about to bust your head open real quick. So I'm just oh, trying okay. to make you sure you believe you, in the Old Testament. 
I just want to make sure. Christ would say. I'm gonna make sure. Christ said, "Bring my enemies before me and slay them." So yeah, that's something Christ would okay, say. Okay, so I'm your enemy. Uh, I don't know. I'm your enemy. No. You're gonna slay your brother. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to slay you. Love your brother as you love yourself. You don't keep the commandments. Oh my God! It's like talking to my auntie while she on on drugs. No, it's not your auntie. Don't slander and disrespect your. Elder. What we um? Let's go to the next person. Michael's not gonna. Uh, He's not gonna participate. Don't run. No, I'm running, bro. You got me, bro. You no, it's man. You, not you pulled, that. Y'all, man, you pulled. You, y'all had you. The scripture you pulled, man. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that. So we got to go to the next person, bro. Deal with my gospel question and don't run before the congregation of Israel. Yeah, let me let me move him to the audience. Yeah. See. Oh man, the freaks come out at night. I'm telling you, boy. Hey, this is what this is what Christianity do, man. They give you a dang old migraine up here. <laughs> That's why I denounced that crap when I heard it. Hey, you I, I did not agree with that uh, at you, all. He does you, not you, represent you, Christianity. Yeah, yeah. Y'all on the same um spectrum. Man, <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. Hey, we going, come we on, trying man. to go to I the next person. I can't be an individual, man. God. That's your problem. Okay. You want to be an individual? That's the issue. <laughs> no, nah, I'm talking about here on earth. I'm part of the body of Christ. I ain't, I ain't, I'm an individual here. Don't judge me yet on somebody else on that crap pot. Christ kept um, Hanukkah. You don't. So you ain't a part of his body. Yeah, you don't want me to explain that either. So you ain't got to explain it. Who's next? All right. So, uh, Glenn. Hey, Shalom, Glenn. What you got on top of bro? <clears throat> um, no, we definitely not twisting the Bible. I'm an Israelite myself, too. I'm from Detroit. We ain't twisting the Bible. But just, just to piggyback off what the brother was saying, the brother said that when you went to Romans, when he said the New Testament wasn't scripture, he was just saying that, you know, Romans is an epistle from Paul to the um, Israelites in Rome. And it's not on par with the Torah and the Gospels. That's pretty much what he was saying. I don't know if that's if he was trying to explain it that way, but I have that understanding, too. Paul letters is not on the Torah level at all. Like even even the early believers knew that Paul teaches wasn't on Yahshua or Yahweh Shai, whichever name you use, is the supreme authority of the New Testament. So you saying Paul? Christ. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, D. <laughs> go ahead, bro. So you so you saying Paul Paul didn't pull from the Torah? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm not saying that because even the Pharisees pulled from the Torah. Paul definitely taught from the Torah. That's all in his letters. I'm just saying that his letters are letters. They're epistles. Like James, that's an epistle. Like Jude, that's an epistle. You know what I'm saying? So what saying, came okay, from the so Torah... Go ahead. Okay, give me 1 Corinthians 14. 1 Corinthians... Oh, you about to, go ahead. What verse, sir? These things that I write are law. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 37. If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. Do you do you agree with this epistle? I agree with what he said right there. If you okay. yeah, the commandments of the Lord, I agree with that. All right, so his so his epistles line up with the Torah. The different laws, different laws that he set in place for the church. You agree? I agree with that. I, I, I agree with that. I'm not saying everything he said was wrong or nothing like that. I'm just saying that it's it's how I can put. It. Like, give me an example. Y'all was talking a minute ago. Somebody was speaking about Christ, and y'all was saying that they was teaching it. Um, they was wrong about it, and they was wrong. I can't remember what the subject was, but Paul said, "Whether you preach Christ in pretense or truth, he rejoiced in that." So but Paul the brother, actually supported the brother, these, brother, these Christians. The brother that just came up here, the last two just came up here, they wasn't preaching Christ. The brother said he didn't no, not them two. dedication. No, know, not them two, bro. But that's what you make reference to. Another brother came up here and said he didn't believe in the New Testament. He didn't believe the right or the gospel. Unless I, unless I heard something, something different. It was before that. Before that, they was talking about Christmas or something like that. And they was talking about how, you know, Christmas ain't the truth. We all agree on that. But they still preaching Christ. According to Philippians 1.18, Paul said, if you preach in pretense or truth, or truth, 
Yeah. It should have been preach Christ. So now I gotta stop you. I I gotta stop you there, man. Because if you if you sit in a church and you preach Christmas, so I just want to make sure I'm hearing it correctly. You sit in a church, you're preaching Christmas. You're saying that they're preaching Christ. No, I'm not saying I agree with it, brother. I was just quoting what Paul said when he said, if they preach in pretense or truth. Yes, okay, pretense or that's truth. The but that's, that's not, the that's not, that's he were, he not. Wasn't talking, he wasn't talking about pagan Christianity. Okay. He was talking about the scribes and Pharisees that were rejected. Christ through pretense, meaning they were false bread and crypt and unawares. They were still trying to get people to sacrifice, but they claim to believe on Christ. So that's what it's talking about. It's not talking I about agree with that. Pay, it's not talking I about agree with that. Christianity that set up a, a Christmas tree with, with ornaments and that fornicated eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. He, ain't talking, he wasn't talking about that now. Yeah, I agree with that all they're I, not agree with they, you. I agree with they, you. They, they're not preaching Christ, bro. They're not preaching Christ at all. They're using the Bible, but they're not preaching Christ. But hey, wouldn't it be true, brother? I now I agree with you, just for the record. But wouldn't it be true that they are preaching Christ, but they're preaching him incorrectly? No. Hello? No, sir. Galatians 1 and 6 tells you. That. Hello? Hello? Galatians, Galatians 1 and 6. Man, my phone done kicked out. We still hear you, bro. You hear me? Oh, okay. Now what I was saying was. They, like you said, they still using the Bible, so they is preaching Christ, but they're not preaching him correctly. They're not preaching Christ. They're, they're the all. ones they're not, they're, right? They're not. No, sir. They're not even preaching. They're not even preaching nothing that he, he did. They're not even preaching it correctly or anything. You know what I'm saying? They like you can't say they're preaching Christ. Like they may be using the name Christ, <laughs> saying they believe on him, but then you start break. Give me that Lord, Lord, but do not the things that I say. That's Matthew 7, 21 through 23. I agree with you no, on that. No, 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 no. I don't, no, I don't no, agree no. that all Christians no, teach that. No, that's, no, that's no. Luke. Luke, Luke 6, 46. Yeah, it's the same thing. I know what you're talking about. Brother Luke, chapter 6 and verse 46. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? You know, why did Christ say it like that? They serving them. They serving them with their lips, and they not doing what he said. He said, "Those who love me obey my commandments." Okay. Christians don't do that. Don't get me wrong, brother. I'm not okay. saying they right okay. at all. Okay, so they not preaching Christ then. If he said, "Why? Why are you even calling my name if you're not going to do the things that I say? Why you say I'm your Lord, but you don't follow me?" So he's telling you they not preaching me. You understand? Now go to Galatians one and six. They not preaching Christ. They just using the Bible. But they're not preaching Christ because to preach Christ is to preach him correctly. The book of Galatians chapter 1 verse 6. I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Go ahead. Which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. See that? That's what they're doing. They're perverting the gospel of Christ. They're not preaching him mm -hmm. as it's written. They're perverting it. So that's why I said they're not preaching it at all. You know what I'm saying? We can't learn anything from them uh, in the sense of salvation or whether it's truth. We can't do it because they're not preaching the true gospel. I agree because they, 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 they ride Paul. They, they, ride, they ride the Paul more than they ride Christ. I agree with that. I agree. <clears throat> Well, something else I was about to ask. I'm about to go back into the um into the what's his name. I can't remember right now. Um, oh, that, yeah, that's what it was. That, quick question. Quick question. I'm, I'm gonna go. When um why did why did the Holy Spirit tell Paul not to go to Jerusalem in Acts 21? It told him multiple. It told him multiple yeah, times. Time. But he went anyway, didn't he? I think that was Acts 20, 20, 21. 21, 21. 21 and 10, where he said, I'm ready to die at Jerusalem. Yeah, that is. yeah. But he went there and he appealed to Caesar. He did the opposite of what he said in Corinthians when he said, why appeal? Why go to the unrighteous judges and not the saints in Jerusalem? 
that's not what why that he means. didn't call for the twelve apostles to come down and say, "Hey, man, I just came and that's, talked to that's James." Not, man. That's not that's not what that means. First Corinthians six. That's not what that's talking about. First Corinthians six is talking about Acts eighteen when they brought him before Galileo in Corinth to try to get him persecuted by the white man to get put to death. When he appealed to Caesar, the reason he appealed to Caesar is because those uh, those Jews are trying to get him put to death unjustly. So he had to go to the so-called white man to save his life so that he can continue on the mission that the Lord has set for him. That was all of the most high. When you go to uh, Let me ask, Matthew man, because you 10, said it was unjust. How was it unjust? What do you mean? They, they never got to, to the... No, they never they, got to the point. Remember, remember when they said he was breaking. He, they said he taught against the law. He taught against the people. He taught against the temple. They jumped on him, and then the Roman no, soldiers came and saved him. No, he didn't appeal to T, he didn't appeal to Caesar until later, to after that, bro. He appealed. To, he bro, appealed I can to guarantee that the Acts twenty one. That, that's that, it, bro. That's when they beat Act, him up, and then they, and, no, and the Romans took no, him. No, 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 Glenn, stop. Acts twenty five and seven. Acts 25 and 7, man. What's up, man? Acts chapter 25, verse 7. And when he was come, the Jews which came down from Jerusalem stood round about and laid many and grievous complaints against Paul, which they could not prove. Go ahead. Not answer for himself, neither against the law of the Jews, neither against the temple, nor yet against Caesar. Have he I is so he didn't speak evil against Caesar, against the temple, against Moses, none of that, against the law, none of that. They were they were falsely yeah. accusing him, but they couldn't even prove the accusations that they were putting against him. They couldn't even prove their stance. So once again, that's what we're talking about. He appealed to Caesar because he knew he wasn't gonna get a just he wasn't gonna get a just case yeah. where he was. You understand? Yeah. Can you give me Acts 23 6 before we go? Yeah, we can get it, but what you gonna do with Acts 25? That was after Acts 23. You can't just, yeah, you can't just I, jump I, I, over. I, now you can't just I, jump I ain't over. jumping. I ain't jumping, bro. I got a point I'm proving. I, I got it. I got it. No, no, no. I'm asking you. No more chips. I brought up Acts chapter 25 and you just jumped over. You ain't even deal with it. <laughs> I'm showing you in Acts chapter 25 that they brought things against Paul that they couldn't even prove that he had done. That's and what it's saying right there in Acts twenty five six. That's Luke. Yeah, yeah. And he appealed and he appealed unto the so called white man because the Jews were coming against him unjustly. That was unjust. So I'm asking you what you do with that, because your initial statement was the, why in First Corinthians well, six. No, your original no, statement I never went to First Corinthians. Uh, you you quoted it, brother. Damn, you quoted it. The hell, you just quoted, I quoted it because 6. I was talking about Acts twenty one when they asked him about the law, and he said that I was under, um, I was being accused of the resurrection. He changed the whole story in Acts twenty one. I was trying to get to that point. So you said no, when stop, I said stop, that. Stop, stop. So you so you trying to discredit Paul? You basically saying he was lying. Paul do lie in the Bible. He lied a lot. Drop this dumbass nigga off stage. Don't bring that dumbass nigga up on stage no more. This nigga uh, trying to go through scriptures. To show, Paul, the, the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ taught Paul. Nigga, you ain't learned from Christ. <laughs> don't, don't bring that dumbass nigga on stage no more. If he try to come up on stage, drop his dumbass. This nigga so, gonna try to discredit the apostle that the Lord walked with. Give me that in First Corinthians. Give me that in Galatians one. I don't give a damn if you offended either. Get Galatians chapter one. And read verse uh, 14. The book of Galatians, chapter 1, verse 14. And profited in the Jews' religion above many my equals in my own nation, being more exceedingly zealous of the traditions of my so fathers. So Paul kept the law and was more exceeding zealous. He did way more for his people than you've ever done. What the hell are you talking about? Paul went hard for these commandments. Negro just learned they Israel two years ago. Three, six months ago, and they're going to speak against the Apostle Paul. Sit down. You ought to be abashed to speak against the prophets. The Apostle, the Holy Apostle the Lord set up. The hell wrong with this dude? 75% of the, of the New Testament was written by Paul. But now you discredit it. So now we got to throw the Bible out. Now, now, okay, now, did Christ really deal with him? Is Christ a false witness? <laughs> 
is Christ a liar? Like you got to when you start discrediting the apostles, you got to discredit the Savior. Come on, man, stop! Don't let dumb niggas like that on stage. Keep reading. Verse fifteen. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb, and called me by His grace, to reveal His Son in me, that I might preach Him among the heathen. I confer not with flesh and blood. So Paul said once the Lord revealed Christ to him, he didn't confer with flesh and blood. Meaning what? Paul didn't have to go to none of the apostles to learn from them. That's why in 2 Corinthians, I think it's 13 and 6, he said, I am not whipped behind the chiefest of apostles. Paul had just as much, if not more, understanding than Peter. But Paul respected Peter. He respected the other apostles that walked with Christ because they were in Christ before him. But Paul was on a level, you understand, in understanding. Then you got Negroes today, just learned their Israel, ain't even fully converted, ain't even fully put their sins off, but you're going to speak against the apostle the Lord set up. Man, sit down. I ain't entertaining that, bro. Don't bring that nigga up on stage no more. Hey, he trying to talk about Paul, Dion. He probably ain't keeping no damn commandments. Hell no. <laughs> So we're going to move on in the queue. Let me replug the room real quick. Are the Hebrew Israelites twisting the gospel? Y'all can hit us up at biblicalsmoke at gmail.com. Y'all can hit us up on Twitter and all our other social media uh, platforms. If you're looking to contact us, hit us up at biblicalsmoke at gmail.com. So we're going to move on in the queue. Ira. in the scripts where um, that we're going to be beamed up in the chariots and dropped in the wilderness. So if one of y'all, somebody got some scriptures to help me out with that. No, show us where we're going. Show going. us where we're going then. We ain't going to get beamed up in the chariots and dropped off in the wilderness. Where we going? And show us the well, scripture. Well, let's go to Matthew. I can get a, a script. Let's go to Matthew 25 and 46. I know All what right, we're let's supposed read. to do. Let's read it. Let's All read it. Right. Chapter 25. You said 46? Uh, yeah, let me. I'm shooting from the hip right now. I think we can start from there. Yeah, make sure you fact check. Hey, Dia, he's shooting from the hip. He, he, watch he all don't even L. know. He watch all our elder videos. Oh, I'm shooting yeah, from the hip. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. Man, that's crazy, man. It's crazy. Well, so what you got? I, 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 can read, I can read it for you if you want it. Acts 25, 46, you should have what you want. Yeah, Matthew, uh, Matthew 25, verse, uh, let's start at verse, uh, 34. <laughs> nowhere, 34. nowhere, nowhere in here says anything that you're trying to say. I'm reading it. Ain't nothing in here that say what you're trying to say, bro. Well, well, what I'm, what I'm asking, I'm asking a question, right? I'm asking y'all, right? Y'all got the answer. So I'm asking y'all. So I said, this, is this a doctrine that y'all teach or not? Now, I'm asking you if you're saying you because you just said it. So, you know what we teach. So ain't no point of us even trying to sugarcoat it or even play around. You know what okay. we teach. So I'm asking you if what we're teaching is wrong. Show us what's right in Scripture. Show us in the Scripture where it say once we get beamed up, those of us that are blessed to make it, where are we going? Show me. Well, I can't show you because I don't believe we getting beamed up. So that's oh, okay. why I'm asking you to okay. show me. The so what, so, we OK, stop. So we ain't getting beamed up. Where are we going? I'm about to read the script and show you what the Messiah told us to do. I mean, reading the word. Y'all want to read the word? Yeah, we can read. We're not going right. to read no 15 verses. Get to the point. All right. So look, so Matthew 25 and 33, it says he set the sheep on his right oh, hand. We got to read it. We got to read it. All right. Read it for him. Matthew chapter 25. You can feel like a teacher tonight. We, we got to read it for you and everything, brother. The book of Matthew, chapter 25, and verse 33. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you 
from the foundations of the world. All right. What's your point? All right. So the Messiah goes down a whole list of the things that the sheep did and then the goats didn't do. Right. So the sheep was getting the kingdom because they did a certain thing and the goats were not getting the kingdom because they didn't do a certain thing. Okay. Right? What's your point? So my point is, is what are, my point is, is this, why are we teaching? Because what I see is a remnant, like a remix version of Christianity, like rapture. So I'm asking y'all if I, if, if I've so how got the devil on me, if that's what y'all see, relieve me of that and show me in the scripts where we getting beamed up out of captivity, dropped in the wilderness and then meeting Christ face to face when that day come. That's what I'm asking. All right. All right. All right. Well, we'll help you out then. Uh, first and foremost, go back one chapter, Matthew chapter 25, I mean 24. And I want you to read verse 29. The book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be dark and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. So what is this uh what is this describing, Brother Ira? In World War Three. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, it gives you the def the uh description of how uh bad it's gonna be on earth. Go ahead. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Mm -hmm. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, mm -hmm. and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 wait, wait, stop, stop. What are the clouds? Because if you, 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 you have a flu I can't give you no straight you, answer, right? Because I've been in the truth for a while. I've been in the truth for a long time, so I know the most the Messiah speaking parables. But a okay. cloud is something in the sky, so I'll okay. give you that answer. Go so ahead. here's a question. You ever been on an airplane before? Yeah, I've been in an airplane. Can you fly straight through a cloud or can you stand on it? You can fly straight through it. Exactly. It's it's, it's a ball of gas. You can't freaking uh, stand on it, stand in it, nothing. You're going to fall flat out the air if you think you're going to ride on a literal cloud or what we know today as clouds. So we know he ain't talking about that. It said you're going to see the son of man coming in the clouds. Go ahead. They shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Go ahead. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of, the, of heaven to the other. So he coming with, he coming with clouds of heaven power and glory and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other so that's so christ is quoting what isaiah chapter 66 that's what christ is quoting get isaiah 66 verse 15 the book of isaiah chapter 66 and verse 15 for behold the lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind so he coming with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. That's what it means when it said power and great glory and with his clouds. Now, how we know that clouds equals chariots? You got that for me in Psalm 104? Because the Bible say precept must be upon precept. That's how you get understanding. You have to go to the precepts. So we're going to go to the precepts and show you chariot and cloud. The same scripture. Psalms 104. The book of Psalms, chapter 104 and verse 3. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Maketh the clouds his chariots. Go ahead. Who walked upon the wings of the wind? Read. Who maketh his angels spirits? Who maketh his, his angels spirits. Go ahead. His ministers a flaming fire. So that's Isaiah 66, verse 15. And that's Matthew chapter 24 verse 29 through 31, both right there together. His ministers, his spirits, or which are the angels, the flame and fire, and he coming with clouds, which are chariots. So Christ coming with chariots, and those chariots are going to be used to gather his elect from the four winds of the earth. Now, 
somebody may say, well, it does say chariots. It does say the angels going to gather them. But where does it say they're going up? Let's see. Give me the book of Revelation, chapter 11. They're going up. Revelation, chapter 11, verse 11. The book of Revelation, chapter 11, and verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them. Mm -hmm. And they stood upon their feet. A great fit and, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. So when the Israelites get the spirit of the Lord in them, like we've gotten in us, you say you've been the truth for a while, so you've received that Holy Spirit as well. Fear. That's why they created the Anti-Defamation League, uh, Southern Poverty Law Center. They slander Kyrie. They slander Ye. They slander us constantly. Say we killing people in New Jersey and doing all these matters of evil. That's why, because they're in fear. I think you know that. Can you read? And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. Come where? Come up hither. Read. And they ascended to heaven in a cloud. Mm. And, their, and their enemies beheld them. So, once again, the Bible is using the word cloud. We know that that's talking about God's chariots. It says, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them. Listen, the word rapture is not in the Bible. You know? The word rapture is not in there. But us being carried up into chariots or called up into chariots, that is in the Bible. And it says it over and over and over and over. Now go to First Thessalonians 4, 16. Just giving you more proof. Then I'll show you the wilderness. The book first, of, first Thessalonians 4, 16 for me, please. Yes, sir. The book of First Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, mm. with the voice of the, of, of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God. Go and ahead. the dead in Christ shall rise first. So this goes with what we read in Matthew chapter 24, because he said he going to descend from heaven. We read in Matthew 24, he coming from heaven. Then it says the voice with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God. It said a trumpet going to sound and he going to send his angels to gather his elect from the four corners. Right. Can you read it? Verse uh, 17. Four, four winds. Excuse me. Four winds. Go ahead. Verse 17. Then we which are alive. And remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Wait a minute. Hold up now. We done heard clouds, chariots, and multiple different scriptures. And they're all describing the second coming of Christ. When the Lord returns. It says, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. To do what? To meet the Lord in the air. Mm. With the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these so words. Brother Ira, before I move on to the wilderness, do you understand that? Yeah. I, or do you I definitely understand that. I, I don't got no pushback. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Okay, excellent. All praises. So now, let's go to uh, the wilderness that you spoke about. So... You was asking about where does it say in the scriptures that we're going to be called up into the clouds or the chariots and then dropped off to the in the wilderness to meet Christ face to face. That's an excellent question, actually, because it's going to edify more people in the room that may have also had those same questions. Uh, let's go to Ezekiel 20. 20. And I want you to start at 32 just for the sake of I want I want everybody to understand the mind frame that God's people have been in for a very long time and what he's going to have to bring them out of. And then we're going we're gonna to skip down. Ezekiel. 20 and 32. The book of Ezekiel chapter 20 verse 32. Oh, yeah. That which cometh into your mind shall not be at all. Mm -hmm. That ye say, we will be as the heathen, as the families of the countries to serve wood and stone. So if you ever read the curses, which I'm sure you have, you've been the truth for a while. And if you other brothers and sisters that's listening, Deuteronomy 28 verse 64 says that we will be scattered amongst the nations and there we will serve other gods, even wood and stone. That, we, that can be translated to your Christianity, the wood, the cross, and then your stone will be the cobblestone, uh, Islam. So it says that we have become like heathen. So this is the mindset that the Lord understands that his people have gained and have started to follow 
in Babylon or wherever else they scattered. Can you read? As I live, saith the Lord, saith the Lord God, surely with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out will I rule over you. Because the Lord is going to destroy these nations to, to gather us up out of them, out of these various places. We're going up in the clouds. And as we going up, destruction coming down. We can read that in Psalms 91. 10,000 shall fall at thy right hand and 1,000 at your left. I think that's what it say. I might be, I might have it mixed up. It may be 10,000 at your right or 1,000 at your right and 10,000 at your left. I may be butchering that. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Psalms 91. You can go read it. Verse 1 through 8. Go ahead. And I will bring you out from the people. Mm -hmm. And will gather you out of the countries wherein ye are scattered mm. with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out. So how he going to take up about the land, Brother Ira, based off the precepts we read earlier, how he going to take us about the land? Right. In the chariots of God. Right. He going to gather us together from the four winds so he's gonna take us out of the clouds with a, take us out of the uh, countries wherein we were scattered with a mighty hand meaning through war because christ coming back with war how do we know that we read that in, in matthew 24 where it says uh that the the moon not gonna give a light and the stars of heaven gonna fall it's going into their satellites all that's gonna fall okay then it says and with the stretched out arm and with fury poured out go ahead verse 35 and I will bring you into the wilderness of the people. And I will bring you into the wilderness of the people. Go ahead. And there will I plead with you face to face. And when you get off them chariots, he's going to drop us off in the wilderness of the people. And he's going to deal with us face to face. Go ahead. Like as I pleaded with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like as, like as I speak with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt. Go ahead. So will I plead with you, saith the Lord God. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And I will cause you to pass under the rod. I mean, he going to teach us. He going to teach us the commandments. He going to show us what we've been doing wrong all this time in Babylon, all this time and wherever we've been. He going to show us the evil of our ways and where we cut corners on the law of some of us, maybe. And after that, ain't gonna be no cut, and you ain't gonna be no cut no corners. It ain't gonna be, it ain't gonna be no. Well, I think I gotta wear fringes like this. Well, I think I gotta wear fringes like that. Well, this is the name. Well, that is the name. Or I think we can keep the feast day on the dark moon. I think we keep the feast day on the new, on the on the full moon. Ain't gonna be none of that debating. Christ gonna set the record straight that day. You understand? And we all gonna understand after that. Ain't gonna be no. Uh, I didn't know, Lord. I didn't know. You gonna know. Go ahead. And I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. And he's going to bring you to the bond of the covenant. That's the fullness of the new covenant. He's going to bring us up under that bond. And we're going to be held accountable for that. So I hope that helped you out, Brother Ira. Yes, sir. Shalom, sir. All right. I could, you make the sense just now. You make the sense very plain and clear. But there's a pattern. You understand? A pattern, the most I said, he's going to take us out with. Can you give me Isaiah 31, verse 5, please? The book of Isaiah, chapter 31, and verse 5. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Yeah, so the, the brother, the brother, what was saying? I was asking the question. You still up? You still up, sir? Yeah, I'm yes, sir. I'm listening. Yeah. How do birds fly? They fly in the air. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. Cause when it said as bird fly, do you ever see like a whole group of bird flying in the sky? What type of formation they're flying? You ever look? Mm. Yeah. Like a it looked like an airplane to me. Like, like an airplane in what type of formation? Like a dot, like a, a dot, like a triangle or like diamond. A v, v, right? The V formation, like a triangle. As what do you say, correct? Right. So the most I have everything set up, he said, as bird fly it. Because everybody know that birds have wings. You know what I'm saying? That's what birds use to fly. But it's not, but it's not that he ta he's talking about. Is is he going to take us out into a pattern. That's why you see when those people go into war, you understand, for real, when they're going out with those jets, that's the same formation. They're always 
You understand? Where they get it from? They get it from the Bible. You know what I'm saying? The Bible said, as birds fly, it come on. As as birds fly, so with the will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. He said, that's the same way I'm going to come and defend us as birds fly. Come on. Defending also, he will deliver it. He said, I'm going to deliver Jerusalem. It is Jerusalem, the people. Come on. And passing over, he will preserve it. You see that on passing over, he will preserve it. Because after he take us up, like what Dan just said in those chariots, he's going to preserve, I'm going to pass over, going to see it. You understand? Know They're always singing the church about the great, the great lake of fire. We're going to see that thing. You see what I'm saying? Come on. Turn ye unto him from whom the children of Israel deep, deeply revolted. You see what I'm saying? And as bird flight, oh, as bird flight. Look how many chariots and most are going to come with, brothers. Give me that Psalms. 68 68 verse 17 watch this the book of psalms chapter 68 and verse 17 the chariots of god are twenty thousand, even thousands of angels you see that brothers so when what what, what dion was saying everything is here in the book you know what i'm saying the most i don't leave us like in darkness you know what i'm saying he give us everything say yo that's how we're gonna take you out you know what I'm saying? He's no delusion. He's no more slave cargo ship now, no jet blue now, no, no what I call it again, no aeroplane taking out. No, he said, I have something for you. What they can't shoot down, you see, they tried already. If you look up and see NASA have been trying to shoot down guard chariots. You understand? They even shoot it and it's just like, <laughs> what are you guys really doing? That's what it is. The Bible said that's all the most are going to come and take us. So the Bible give us the formation. You understand? He give us the, 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 the amount of cars. We're going to come and take us out. Everything, bro. Do you get that now, sir? Uh, yeah, I, I, um, I definitely uh, got some more clarity on, on what y'all see. So um, I think it was a real edifying, um, you know, conversation. You know what I mean? And that's what I was looking for. Uh, I wasn't trying to bring no smoke or nothing like that, you know. Yeah, you used to be in Alabama, didn't uh, you? Uh, look at you. <laughs> yeah, I used to be in Alabama. Yeah, oh, okay. I used to be. Yeah, I used to be with the camp, man. Uh, it's probably going on like ten years. Uh, I've been in the truth, so uh, it, it's been a while. I've been in the truth for a good minute. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I'm just asking because when I'm reading the scripts and I'm looking um, at certain things. You know, things ain't lining hey, up. Hey, you know what I mean? Hey, you you should have stayed, brother. All right, let's move on. Uh no, we'll get back to you, uh, just a thought. Uh who we got who we got next? That brother crazy. Preacher. That brother on the pill. Deep, so you don't believe Jesus walked on water? I never said that, brother. It's in the Bible, man. I understand that. So hey, why can't he just stand the cloud? You don't follow Jesus. You ain't you didn't keep um, the same. I ain't thing never say that, bro. That, 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 I ain't never say that. Now you just. All right, who we got next? Terrence, what you got, bro? Celebrate Hanukkah. When did the scripture say he did? Yeah, what, what, what scripture do you think we're going to use for that? And tell us what your problem is with it. Come on, just be honest. Don't I, don't, <laughs> you ain't got to come with the seat. Yeah, just just, just, just tell us what you got. What's, what's, your, what's your issue with the scripture? What don't you see, Tams? I don't have an issue with the scripture. I just never read where Christ celebrated Hanukkah. That was a question. So you've never heard the scripture where Christ crept it? Never. Okay. I got a feeling that you read this, you're going to rebut, but it is what it is. Just get it. You know what I want, bro. The book of John, chapter 10 and verse 22. Let's see how this goes. And it was at 
Jerusalem, the feast of the dedication. And it was winter. All right, what's, what's your issue with it? Because it clearly says Christ was in the temple when they were celebrating the Feast of Dedication. Christ also flipped tables when they were making his, his father's house a den of thieves. So obviously he ain't tolerating no BS in the temple. So go ahead and tell me, Terrence, uh, what's your issue with the scripture? The Hebrew word for Hanukkah, is, I mean, Hebrew word for dedication is Hanukkah, by the way. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. That was a new yes, sir. For that. I'll break the most high. No, I do not. Uh, can you pull the scripture? Uh, Malachi 1 1 and 2 4. And I mute my mic. Uh, move on. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the one that got handled in Atlanta. I think they got a video of him getting getting just destroyed out there. Damn. I ain't think I I thought he had his own room. Who let him on stage? Grant, how you doing, man? What you got? What you got, bro? You do? Uh, but anyway, you got some money? You know what I mean? No, your mic. <laughs> you come back when you when your mic, brother. <laughs> brother, all this shit. All right, out of other rooms. When he come on stage, the mic ain't working. God, good. Yeah. He good. Mary, what's going on, Mary? Sister Mary, are you there? All right, we come back to you, Emmanuel. What's going on, bro? What what you got on the top? <laughs> he said, um, "Are the Hebrew Israelites twisting the gospel?" Correct. I don't right. Some of the wrong question before you assume. Um, no, don't. No, just uh, laying down where so. If you wondering, it's just some uh, saliva. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't smoke. But yeah, there's many things um, I have questions about. But more specifically about um, you guys believe in uh, what is it? How can I say it? the twelve tribes chart? I said, do you guys believe in that or you guys preach that? Okay, so my question on that one, um, in Genesis chapter 49, or how did you guys find them? Uh, like do as, pro, do, as do, Genesis, as like, Genesis um, 49, Deuteronomy yeah, 33. Like, um, Deuteronomy 33. Hold on, oh, no, you asked the question. I'm, I'm answering it. Genesis 49, Deuteronomy 33. Um, and of course, historical facts, you can go into history, archaeology, all those things. But we don't just say that those people are only in those areas. It's just the bulk of the tribes are in the Western Hemisphere, but the tribes are scattered worldwide. We all know that. That's why, that's why at the bottom of the chart, we have Isaiah 11 and 11. Because our brothers and sisters are scattered everywhere. 